doing it over in the UK is is really good. But that's that just kind of changes everything when it comes to the way we've been taught back home. It's get yourself to be the best you are for the playoffs. Just get in and make sure you're at the best part of your game for the playoffs. You know, you want to have a good seed, but then you have a full series of seven games. And it's a, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a battle. Like, you have one bad game or one off night, you know what I mean? You could end your season. Just the aggregate uh, scoring, right, gets tough to come back. You're down 3-1. You're starting the next game down 2 yeah. nothing. Yeah. You know, instead of, I think instead of having the home at home, the higher seed should have a uh, home ice advantage, get two games at home, yeah. play the best two out of three, and then go to the playoffs. Well, that's what we're kind of hoping is going to come in the next year or two, hoping. Yeah, um, I think it would be great. It would be it would be more exciting, I think. Obviously, we've got the things that have happened over here in the last week with the thing with Ryan Finnerty being uh, his contract not being renewed and after four years. What's your overall thoughts and, and have you kept an eye on what's been that? Was that did that surprise you? Um, you know, it, it, it's, I talked to Finner, you know, a little bit, and uh, uh, you know, when it happened, and you know, Finner and I have stayed in touch, and uh, I know, uh, um, you know, he, he's been there a long time and kind of grew with the, with the team of, you know, the Brayhead, you know, uh, what what the image is about there, and and he did a lot for the, I think, Brayhead behind the scenes that maybe a lot of people don't know. Um, and like I said, he, he's one guy, he went to bat for a lot of guys, uh, you know, last year when things got tough, uh, that's one thing with Finner is, uh, he, he will go to bat for you. If, if he, uh, believes you care, he'll do what he can to make sure that you're a part of, uh, that you stay with the team. And, uh, as long as you give it a year all, he's a guy that's going to go to bat for you. And, uh, you know, I was sad to th- to, to hear for him because he's been there a long time, but you know, on the management side, you know, I they want to win, they want to win everything there, and uh, I know they feel that they uh, they put a couple of the teams together that should have done it, and they didn't. I think last year we were really close. I think you know, I think we we're like four or five points away from winning it all. Yeah, and uh, you know, the same the year before, I think it was one point. You know, he, he's done a lot with the clubs that he's had, and this game is tough. Like it, to to say you're going to win by your roster is almost impossible. There's so much that comes into play with injuries and uh, and things like that. And um, I know they went in a little different direction there this year in Brayhead. They went in a little tougher with, I think, something that we were missing last year. You know that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, maybe they went a little too tough. I have no idea. But, uh, you know, the second half of the year, they really picked it up, you know. Yeah, they were like in eighth though. or ninth, I think, for uh, most of the year. And then, you know, to, to still finish fourth, which isn't too bad uh, in a good league. You know, this league's getting better and better every year. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, Finner hand, hand, handled himself well with the, the way he left as well. As well. Um I think he's he'll you know he'll move on he'll get a job somewhere and uh, you know I think he'll do good things. Yeah, just coming on to GB now. Um, it was I think it was last year you you put in Twitter that you became a, a British citizen. Uh, so how how did the whole playing for GB thing come about? Did did you get contacted? Did you get in contact with people? Yeah, or? I uh, yeah I kind of got contacted. It actually started with uh, Steve Thornton there in uh, in Belfast. Um, I knew him from uh, a long time ago, um, uh, from when I was uh, with the LA Kings, and I came over to uh, to play with the Phil Anschutz tournament that they played in. And he was one of the players, I think, with the London Knights, or he was involved uh, with the teams there. And uh, he kind of mentioned, you know, that now that I have my citizenship, you should really consider, you know, trying to play for GB and. Uh, I know that they would be interested, and he. I think he kind of got the ball rolling for me in the, in the, that uh, opportunity for for that to come up. And then Peter Russell gave me a call, and Andy Buxton, and it kind of just started like that. And uh, I couldn't be happier to be a part of it. And I, it's something my my mom and my grandparents are so ecstatic about. And uh, I think uh, it's a great opportunity for myself and. There's not much, uh, you know. You know, I am. I've always been British in my own way. You know, with my mom and grandparents, we've always, you know, 
celebrated things with the Queen, so I've always felt that support for the country anyway, so it, now to be playing for it, it it's a huge honour. I didn't yeah. know, actually, know your, your mother and your and your grandparents were from the UK. I'd never known that before. I think it's something we, think it's something we talked about. Where, whereabouts are they they're from? Uh, they they grew up... Uh, my mum was born in uh, Yorkshire. Ah, right. In Batley, actually. Yeah, I, uh, I've, I've only been there once, and they kind of just went right through it, but uh, not... Uh, haven't really had the opportunity to do it more, and uh, it... Uh, yeah, it's 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 great. Like I think, you know, having the chance to to play for the country that my mom was born in, and uh, is I don't know. I can't really put a word word to what I'm thinking. It's just everybody's just so happy, and and I feel really a part of this country. And now playing here for the last couple of years, I got to really be a part of it, and it's just it's just been a great thing. What, I mean, obviously, normally this would be the time you'd be thinking about going home. Obviously, with you having to, you not having to, it's not as if it's a chore, you've chosen to do it, go over to Belfast to play in the tournament. How's that affecting your plans around about getting home this summer? Uh, well, they, you know, obviously I had to change my flight and things like that, but uh, to me it was an easy decision. Uh, like I said, I, I love this game of hockey, and the longer I could play, the better. It's... Uh, I think uh, it's a huge opportunity to represent a country and uh, you know I don't think I'd ever get the opportunity to play at the Worlds for Canada. Uh, <laughs> you know I was fortunate enough to play for Canada at the Spangler and the Deutschland Cup and and things like that but uh, the Worlds is a it's, it's a different animal I think it's uh, it's one of the biggest stages there is you know maybe even bes- just besides the Olympics it's it's a huge huge honor. Yeah, I was going to ask you that because obviously when you look through your your stuff, you'd see you played in the Spangler Cup and all that. Um, is it going to be different pulling on a GB jersey to a Canada jersey? Uh, no, I I think uh, you know whatever jersey you put on, you play for the the crest that's on the front, and uh, I think uh, you know it was amazing to get the opportunity to play for Canada, and now to have an opportunity to play for. Uh, GB is it's just as big. Um, I look forward to putting the jersey on and uh, playing as hard as I can, like I always try to do, and hopefully help uh, help the team win. And uh, I really hope I can do that. Out in Belfast, it's a couple of weeks. Uh, I think it's around about the end of the month. I'm sure it's near my birthday. So, uh, you. It's a big test for GB. They got relegated last year uh, from Division 1A along with Japan. and So they've got Japan again, Lithuania, Estonia, Netherlands and Croatia. Is What, what is the goal going into this? Is it just you need to get back into Division 1A again? Just promotion is the main key? Or is it a test out period yeah. for you? Just see how it goes. Uh, well, you know, I mean, I think, uh, you know, we're heading there on Tuesday. And I think that's going to be where we talk about the goals of... Uh, of this tournament, but I can't see any other goal than moving back up. You know, you're always in it to win it. And, uh, I know, uh, Peter Russell and I have had some talks and they're really, really want to push for, you know, to win this at, in the, in the UK. Um, so I think they're going to do everything they can to make sure, uh, you know, we win, the, we win. So, uh, um, I think that would be the goal, but I, I, I'll find out more this week. And uh, you know, looking forward to meeting the guys and getting ready. And uh, it should be an exciting time. Yeah. And do you, do you think? Well, you've played with a lot of the the players. Well, against a lot of the players, you played with Ben Davies and Matt Haywood uh, last season. Obviously, do you think playing in the league has given you a good idea of how to how to play within the team, knowing that we're going up against these guys uh, over the last couple of years? Um, yeah, I, you know, I think, uh, you know, playing in Europe on the bigger ice, obviously, as a, on a regular basis, is be, it would be a, a big help, I think. And uh, I think going into this, uh, you know, my attitude is just, uh, you know, do what I've always done. I don't think there's anything, uh, wherever I've gone, I've always played the same. So uh, I think, you know, for me, the, tra- the, the change isn't going to be that much. It's going to be about... You know, getting in there with the guys who've been on the team for a long time and making sure I fit in there, I think is going to be, you know, the a main thing for me to try and do. And uh, 
I don't want anyone to feel that, hey, I'm coming in to, you know, just just to be there. I'm definitely coming in to help and be a part of it and feel that I am, you know, a GB citizen, which I am, and, and I'm going to represent the the press on the front and, and the country as best I can. So, I, you know, I just want everyone that knows that I'm coming out there to know that, you know, this isn't just the, oh, I'm just doing it to do it. This is, this is important to me, and uh, I, I want to feel, uh, feel a part of it just as much as they do. Yeah, Sunday the twenty third to Saturday the twenty ninth of April, um, we'll be watching on TV. I will certainly be watching on TV. In fact, I might actually go over. I'm just realised that's during my holidays. <laughs> I've got a couple of weeks <laughs> off. Then I might actually make it over. I have an idea. You just give me an idea. I might come over to Belfast. Yeah. <laughs> um, Why not? Hey, and exactly. it's Steve's birthday. He should go too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <birthday>. <laughs> you are playing him over. I think they're playing Japan in the twenty sixth. So. Yeah. We'll see what we can do, I suppose. See what we can do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But thanks a lot for that, Brendan. And um, we'll we'll speak to you soon. Find out what your plans are for for next season. Hopefully. All right. Sounds great, man. Thanks for your, your time, and uh, always appreciate chatting with you. And that wraps up another show. So thank you for listening and we hope you enjoyed the podcast. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Goldstone Wealth Management. We'd also like to thank Brendan Brooks for taking the time to chat with us. As always, we'd also like to thank everyone that interacts with us, whether it be on Twitter, on Facebook, or at the arena. And we're not quite finished yet. We're hoping to bring you something else just before the end of the week, so keep your eyes peeled. And if you'd like to get in touch with us, you can find us on Twitter at Purple Army Pod or on your Facebook page, Purple Army Podcast or on the forum, www.purplearmy.rocks. <laughs>